Hello guys, this is me Hacker Screed and uh, welcome back to our uh, testing authentication system web penetration testing series. So this is our video tutorial number 5 and uh, we have already discussed four videos on testing authentication system as we have just tried uh, some methods to test the authentication system and different tools add-ons and browsers we have used to test this uh, implement that particular techniques and all that so this is our video tutorial number five and uh, today uh, we're gonna just try something new and we're gonna just figure out uh, you know how the authentication systems work and all that same thing we're gonna just do but you know just with new tricks and tools and methods with new methods so let's straightforward go to the example and uh, this time it's uh, it's something you know really cool so but in actual sense it's very easy so I can't call it cool so here's a website so website asks for the username and password so you have to get the user uh, name here and type the password here submit the query will get access to your account so our goal is to get the admin access to this website but as you can notice here I didn't have any password username password nothing for this website but as you can you know just uh, see here there is something registered and on this registered page you can just uh, register your uh, new account and you can just create new accounts you can just send the uh, inputs here and it will be stored in the database and your new account will be created so here we have to give the username and password and our account will be created so let's try to uh, give the admin as username and password something if it accepts that uh, we'll get the admin username and password so admin password you know something p a s s w o r d so when i'm just trying to create a new username and password with an admin it says me user is already created so we cannot create a new user with admin but this uh, but this time i'm giving admin a small a d m i n but uh, when i am giving uh, you know admin with a d capital m i n and password with something p a s s w o r d so when i'm submitting this query i'm getting access to an admin account and our account is created and it, it shows me success you have successfully completed this lesson so which means that this time the website is not filtering out the data uh, filtering out the uh, sensitive you know case sensitive data and it's not uh, uh, properly validating the data and just storing it to the database and uh, which causes us to get unauthorized uh, access to that particular website so uh, as you can see we can just uh, use different um, ADM capital I and N and password something and we're getting access to an admin account so this is a new trick how the you know uh, how to break the authentication system of the website and uh, so when um, so whenever you are just testing the new website for authentication systems so you just uh, try to figure out whether the did whether the you know just um, website is uh, using the case sensitive letters and registering and login all that so if uh, just just try to register a new account uh, with your password like uh, uh, you'll just create a new new uh, you'll just create a new account with Imran uh, with you know just username after that try to create a new account like Imran and uh, figure out that whether it's showing this the username is already present or it's accepting that particular data if it's accepting you can just uh, just try to you know create a new account with admin and uh, admin or anything like that if it accepts the data you just get the admin account you can just uh, you know just, uh, get it access to the whole information so thank you f thank you for watching guys